Is Bitcoin about to see a dot-com bubble crash? Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because, well, Bitcoin isn't doing all that well. Jump over here and we can see right now it's sitting at 42,315, which is fantastic if you bought some time ago, unless you bought at the peak. But that's down 11% in the last seven days and still 1.36% down today. There's lots of red here on CoinMarketCap. Ethereum is down to $3,200, down 14% in the last week and 3.7% down in the last day. One interesting thing to note is Cardano seems to be going up. Thousands of new wallets have been created in just the last 24 hours. Are people bailing from Ethereum and going to Cardano? Is now the time to, well, to jump in? We'll have to see, guys. But, yeah, there's lots of red everywhere. A few little ones jumping up. Chainlink has, well, it's climbed up 20, nearly 25% nearly in the last well, last seven days. Not bad. So it's defined the odds, but most of them are all just tied to Bitcoin, everyone. As Bitcoin goes down, they go down. There really has to be another chart here showing the price of it in Bitcoin. Notice how everything's still priced back to the USD. We can't escape it, guys. So I want to have a look at this article and a few other things. So Bitcoin will see its dot-com moment. And this is by uh, interviewing Gareth Soloway, president and CFO of InTheMoneyStocks.com, and he's speaking to Yahoo Finance. Bitcoin for me has a nasty head and shoulder pattern on it. Believe it, uh, Believe it or not, in early 22 or early 23, You could see a move down to sub 20,000 in Bitcoin, he added. We've seen Bitcoin hover between 52 and 46,000 for the last month, and it keeps hitting on the 46,000 level. Well, now it's definitely broke below it. We're below hovering around 42,000 right now. So on a technical basis, if you break below that 46,000, you're going to see the downside to about 42,000, the low from early November. And we have. We have seen that. And right now, we can click here and we can see, there you go, still hovering around that level. We did go below, I'll bring up the chart, we did go below 42,000 as well. And the technical, the TA here, there you go, 41, 41, we haven't broken 40,000. There's going to be a lot of support at that level. Uh, TA is pretty much what a lot of these cryptos, it's all they have, everyone. That's just how, how it works, guys. Um, the digital coin broke a key support level on Wednesday following the latest FOMC minutes, which highlighted a more hawkish discussion among Fed officials That's uh, than what the market anticipated. So crypto is no longer uh, an uncorrelated asset. It's tied to the market. It's responding to the Fed. Guys, that, that's, that's it. There you go. Isn't it meant to be a hedge against... The, uh, the market isn't meant to be an alternative way to space to invest. Not really anymore, it doesn't seem. Solaway highlights another pattern. When the Dow and S&P 500 saw a Santa Claus rally coming into the new year, Bitcoin had continued to falter in the last month. It is now more than 35% off its all-time high levels from November. There's some little disconnect with cryptocurrency as a riskier asset, and I do worry that it, including Ethereum, will start to see further downsides, said Solaway. The technician predicts gold will outperform the S&P 500 and Bitcoin for this year. However, long term, he still believes Bitcoin will be the place to be. You look five years out, Bitcoin is easily at $100,000, maybe even two hundred and fifty. Yeah, but how many times are we saying that? And it depends. He doesn't know if more countries will restrict Bitcoin. Look at what happened in Kazakhstan. The Bitcoin miners in that country were putting so much pressure, the grid fell over. China's banned it, India may ban it, and it's not going to disappear, don't get me wrong. It just may not get mainstream adoption. And sure, a few large corporates have bought it, but we'll have to see. I don't know, I, I just don't think it's going to... Let's just say I believe that the uh, central banks will do everything they can to protect their monopoly on the ability to control, control the, the monetary system. So... But for me, I'm looking at the leverage in the system, including the stock market, he said. The Federal Reserve's plan to reduce its balance sheet 
and likely raise interest rates this year is going to take a lot of money and liquidity out of the system. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are going to see their dot-com moment over the next year or two, he added. Now, he's not the only one that's making these type of predictions. A prominent Twitterer, Mr. Whale, is making these predictions as well. I used to be one of the most hated pages on crypto Twitter, and I was urging people to take profits at 69000 As the bear market rumbles on, as I predicted, and BTC plummets below 40000 all of my haters are dead, silent, and liquidated. Thoughts and prayers. This is eight hours ago. Bitcoin is tanking fast. Now watch as all the crypto exchanges collude to go offline to stop prices from plunging too far. Happens every time. The market is rigged by the few at the top. The moon boys and maxis aren't ready for, oh, ain't ready for what's coming. It's just starting. Here we go. Bitcoin just broke under 42,000. Mr. Well is right again. So Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz says Bitcoin has important uh, has an important level at 42,000 and should hold. In other words, he's confirmed that below uh, 42, uh, the, he's confirmed to break below 42,000 TikTok. So, I mean, he's quite concerned and he's sharing his wife having, giving birth while he had some pizza. pizza. Mark Cuban's NTF company was, NTF Twitter was suspended for apparently violating Twitter rules. Lots of dodgy NTF things out there. So, there we go, guys. There we go. Let's jump back and have a look at the crypto prices as I've recorded this video because, well, even in a seven-minute YouTube video, there can be huge moves in the crypto space. Bitcoin, it's up. It's a green a little bit, but still 42,000, holding above 42,000, guys. Let's have a bit of a talk about this one. So what's your predictions for Bitcoin? Do you think it's going to head right back down? Are you shorting it to try and make some money for it? Or are you not even invested in the space? Let us know what you're doing in the comments down below, everyone. I'm just uh, sitting on the sidelines and watching. I mean, I've been mining Ethereum all year, and I've just been flipping it into shares, guys. That's what I've been doing. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. I mean, I'll have an entry point, probably 10 or sub, and then I'll buy in again to get some Bitcoin. And just for the ride, we'll have to see, though. I think that will that will shake a lot of people out, and it may destroy a lot of confidence in the corporate sector. And then if we, if we really start to see some of this crashing, there's going to be calls and calls for intervention and regulation. You know, Maybe that'll take all the fun out of it. It'll become a nice, boring investment. What do you reckon? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Check out this last video with more people predicting, predicting, predicting dire consequences for Bitcoin. I mean, it's a volatile market, guys. It moves a lot. You've got to have the cojones to ride it out. And for me, it's just a little bit too stressful. Take care. I'll see you later.